World Refugee Day took place on June 20th. The day is designed to bring awareness and celebrate the strength and courage of those who have been forced to flee their home country to escape conflict or persecution. In Fort Erie, members of the community participated in a walk through town that finished with a lunch at Casa El Norte. I wish people knew more about refugees. There's a lot of misinformation. I think a lot of people immediately think that they're economic immigrants, and that's, that's not the case. They're refugee claimants, and a lot of them have gone past that and are actually refugees. Um, so that, you know, that's not something that we decide. That's, you know, the governing bodies that make those decisions. Um, it's, I think, awareness for people to understand that nobody wants to leave their home, <laughs> right? Just like we love Fort Erie. Uh, it would be very hard for me to leave Fort Erie or even Canada and make my home somewhere else. And for these individuals, their first choice would be to be home if it was safe because that's, that's their roots, that's their heritage. They would love to be there. So to leave your country um, is not an easy thing to do. It's a big, it's a, it's a major choice. Laura Torres left Colombia with a suitcase and her two children. Close to five years later, Canada and Fort Erie feel like home. When I leave from Colombia and I start to my flight, and I have many questions to myself, you know? Never say anything to my children because they need support. Just myself and I pray and I say, how will be my life in there? I don't know everyone. I don't know how is the culture, how is the language. I can speak English really. And just try to manage myself and live state by state, you know? Casa El Norte means House of the North. They have been providing emergency housing and support to refugees for over 30 years. Well, I think it's a matter of making them feel comfortable, safe, first of all, um, and just helping them with adjusting. You know, they have so much they have to go through with immigration and paperwork, and then there's the language barriers of different languages. You just do your best, and there's, you know, medical issues, children going to school, um, getting them into programs, and then finding accommodation. What is your message on World Refugee Day? I think we have to think about this globally. You know, we're all human beings. They deserve, you know, the same freedoms and rights as we do. Um, and just accept them and welcome them. You know, everybody, everybody, and don't judge. The Fort Erie Multicultural Center, Casa El Norte, and Matthew House all provide assistance for newcomers, but support from the community at large is what can really make a difference. The supply teacher told us that there was a new guy, but he speaks Arabic, but he was Spanish. And my, friend, my other Spanish friend came to help him. And then we just like, and the next day he started playing basketball with us, and he played more and more. And yeah. we got used to each other, and we came, became best friends. Yeah. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.